<laughs> Loader of the Greens. <laughs> <laughs> you might be the boss of the cabinet, but you're not the boss of this place, Mr Hodgman. No. Um, thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I rise in response to um, a statement that the Minister for Primary Industries made on indulgence a short time ago in this House, and I think it's really important that I uh, respond uh, to the information that the Minister laid on the table, and I want to um, also uh, inform the House that I've spoken to the Secretary of the Department of Parks uh, primary Industries, Parks, Water and the Environment about um, uh, information that was contained in a Right to Information document which we, we received on the Monday and to uh, acknowledge uh, that conversation uh, with the uh, head of the agency and to acknowledge a statement that's been put out uh, by the department which makes it clear uh, that De Pipwe has been informed that some information released in a right to information decision may not have related to the Van Diemen's Land Company. I'm now, for the purposes of Hansard, reading from the statement. The department has conducted an investigation and determined that some information was inadvertently released in the RTI decision that did not relate to the Van Dairy Group. The department has therefore issued an amended RTI decision in relation to this matter. The department apologises to Van Dairy Group and the RTI applicant for the error and the department reiterates that all the complaints made in the original RTI as released by the department were followed up by experienced biosecurity inspectors and no evidence of breaches of the Animal Welfare Act were found. So I thought it was important to place uh, that statement on the record, um, Mr Deputy Speaker, and also to make it clear from the Greens' point of view, we don't hold any grudge um, against the Right to Information Officer uh, who made this decision and it would appear um, has... Um, uh, has released information that contained uh, allegations of animal cruelty uh, that did not relate to the Van Dairy Group. So what we know now from the right to information material that's been reissued is that there were three specific complaints that related to the Van Dairy Group that were contained in the right to information documents that we now have only a short time ago. And I just want to be really, really clear that I'm sure there's someone in the agency now who feels bad, um, but it is not their fault. Uh, we are dealing with an under-resourced agency. We're dealing with an agency that has one right to information uh, officer uh, on board at the moment. Uh, and is dealing with a large volume of RTI requests. It's one of the most controversial agencies in government in some ways, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. I also want to make it clear that um, we stand by uh, many of the concerns that we have raised uh, about animal cruelty allegations uh, at the Van Diemen's Land property or the Van Dairy property, but also more broadly in the dairy industry, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, because while the um, complaint that alleges um, uh, eye gouging, breaking of cow's tails, uh, the illegal injection of substances to induce birth, um, a cow being killed by slitting its throat, shot cows being picked up by hay forks through their bodies still kicking, etc., etc., in gruesome detail. Uh, while that complaint does not relate specifically to the Van Dairy Company, it certainly relates to a company that's operating as a dairy uh, in northwest Tasmania. And I understand from information provided to me by the Secretary that that dairy has since changed hands. But it raises a broader issue. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, about the currently um, compromised capacity we have as a state uh, to thoroughly investigate animal uh, uh, neglect and cruelty under the Animal Welfare Act of 1993, the fact that we don't have um, an independent animal welfare inspectorate, we don't have um, an animal welfare commissioner, as we should, uh, and we don't yet have, which we need, um, a dedicated uh, uh, animal welfare enforcement division uh, within Tasmania Police, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. So we've got a sequence of um, complaints that have been made about the dairy industry. Three of them relate to the Van Dairy um, group of uh, dairies. One of them relates to another group of dairy, another dairy which apparently is close uh, to Van Dairy, but it points to problems within uh, the dairy sector about how it deals with um, calves, um, the birth of calves that are born only to ensure that the cow itself can continue to produce milk, what happens uh, to those calves, Mr Deputy Speaker. Now, 
As members of the House know, um, after the original question that we asked Mr Barnett, a person who'd worked at the Van Derry group of companies for the past three years got in touch with us, has also spoken, as I understand it, to journalists, and um, made um, statements that I asked in our question of yesterday uh, that continue to raise concerns about um, the way animals are treated at dairies in the northwest, and in his case, specifically uh, at Van Derry. So we did make sure that Biosecurity Tasmania had that uh, whistleblower's name and contact details, as we should, um, Mr Deputy Speaker, but um, we will continue to pursue uh, concerns about um, uh, animal welfare within the dairy industry, and uh, we just remind the House that on the 28th, 27th of June this year, 20 senior staff uh, at Van Derry uh, wrote to the dairy's owner seeking indemnity from prosecution under the Animal Welfare Act of 1993 because they're so concerned. So, um, Mr Deputy Speaker, I want to thank um, Mr Whittington for um, providing uh, us with the updated information. I also want to accept uh, his apology on behalf of the agency. I want to encourage him not to be too cross um, with the right to information officer because that person's just doing their best to do their job uh, in difficult and under-resourced circumstances, Mr Deputy Speaker. But we shouldn't um, allow this mistaken right to information um, content to uh, let us forget that serious allegations have been made about the practices of dairy farms on the northwest coast, uh, that a whistleblower has come forward alleging uh, animal cruelty uh, at a Van Dairy property, that 20 senior staff have written to the owner of a Van Dairy company um, really concerned about the welfare of animals. So um, I do want to uh, encourage the minister, who no doubt is also a bit grumpy about this week, uh, not to um, seek retribution, but also to make sure Premier. that the right to information section of his department is Members properly 